Good afternoon once again, ladies and gentlemen. This is Lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging. Well, coming at you with thoughts of the day. You know, I listened back to my video in which I was kind of mad. And do you ever notice when I get mad, my voice changes like I'll say, I don't even know if I can imitate it. Like, if you're listening now, go ahead and tell me what you think or something. I sound like a little girl or something. Go ahead. <clears throat> Pardon me. Well, that just really makes me mad. I mean, how do people know what's going on in other people's lives? You know, I realize I don't have much of a life other than I like to research things and so forth. But everybody has a... Oh, okay, I'm not even... Actually, I'm here because I'm going to go ahead and do... I'm going to um, talk about the Democratic Party, the new slogan. Oh, it's so exciting, ladies and gentlemen, the new slogan. And... Uh, talk about some ideas of my own this is because judith m villanue won the contest and she wanted me to do it let me read you their new slogan this is their big breakthrough this is what the democrats after you know taking such a hit in 2016 and and you know now bernie sanders is the most popular politician in the united states and you know they really missed the boat by not pushing his message Instead, they decided to go, um, basically just tease Donald Trump or make it all about how hideous Donald Trump was, rather than putting forth ideas of their own. And of course, they're going to change that now. They're going to embrace Bernie, right? Okay, here's their slogan, ladies and gentlemen. Hang on to something. Get ready to jot this down in your family Bible. It's so poetic. A better deal, better jobs, better wages better future I cannot like I said I my I, the collective eyes are rolling across the internet across the globe over this we could really probably go ahead and power a small power plant okay of course we know what their slogan was during the election season I'm with her that's that really explains a lot what you're for Bernie Sanders was a future to believe in which although it's grammatically incorrect it would be very difficult to say a future in which you can believe. It, you know, it would fit very well on a bumper sticker. So these, this is the big, wonderful thing about the Dems. And, you know, they pondered over this and drew pie charts and called in meetings and, you know, called the executive board together and probably used a gavel and just thought they were being very clever with this new thing. First of all, personally, and this might sound a little strange, but... I get sick of everything on the globe, uh, or in this country, focusing on jobs. Now, I know we need jobs now, so it's probably, maybe you might misconstrue what I'm saying here. It's unfortunate in our society that we have come to the point where our lives have to revolve around what we do for a living. It's unfortunate because I know in other countries they're more laid back. Um, they have a shorter work week, for example. Their lives don't revolve around their jobs. They have a strong social safety net where they can live life and not just live to work, live to work, live to work. So I just, I get sick of hearing about jobs and that might, like I said, I don't mean to belittle or hide the fact that people need jobs. So I hope you understand that before you start making your ridiculous comments. Oh my God, I am so rude. I've never really had ridiculous comments. They've all been very thoughtful. So please, I didn't mean that, okay? I'm still carrying a little grudge from the last time here. Here are some ideas I thought of. Lisa Hauserman, within like five minutes. We could either, we could use Bernie Sanders if we want a future to believe in. Or how about this? Heading back to our progressive roots. Wouldn't that just say it all? Yes. Um, we could have, really, this would, this would um, fit on a bumper sticker, either alone or together. Medicare for all. It could say, like, Democratic Party, dot, dot, Medicare for all, with a bunch of exclamation points. Or, Medicare for all, dash, end all wars. Oh, my God, isn't that wonderful? So, yeah, I think those would be much better ideas. Give me your thoughts, feelings, and emotions in the comment section below. And I did not mean to just be rude about the comments or before you come at me with your ridiculous comments, because I always love your comments. I'm just still upset about... Upset might not be the right word. No, it probably is. Let me just be honest with myself. That people, I don't know if they think that I'm glued constantly to the device, maybe. I am quite a bit. 
but we all have emergencies and things. And even though I didn't have an emergency, give me time. If you have no idea of what I speak, go back to the video right before this where it says comment rant. Okay. I know that my one friend is going to be highly upset with me over this video because I take the Democratic slogan to task. But that was what the contest winner wanted. And I always, you know, have to... Um, please my viewing audience and I try to uh, bring them in as much as possible since I've never gone live yet. My biggest fear is I'll go live and I'll have one person watching. It would be Sandy. She's such a good, loyal fan or whatever. Do I have fans? Also, Anna, A-N-N-E. -A -N -N -E. uh, you know who I mean. You're probably watching because you're very good about watching. I'm wondering where Pat Hacker's been lately. I'm a little concerned. Pat Hacker, if you're seeing this, will you drop me an email, please? Let me know you're okay or just leave a comment below. I, I never say this. Please press like, would you? Even if you hate. Okay. Lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging. Well, coming at you with thoughts of the day. Please join me in dropping your political identity, focusing on issues in order to make this world a better place. And let's all, let's concentrate on one other thing together, shall we? Let's join forces, march on the streets, do videos, whatever your talent may be. Some people aren't able to march on the streets. I understand that. Let's become anti-war. Anti-war, not that we're not. Let's make that clear. That we're not going to take... We're not going to stand for any more of these wars for Israel. Because that's what they are. Once again, please check out the Greater Israel Project. Once again, please look up General Wesley Clark. Uh, General Wesley Clark, seven countries in five years I believe it's called or five countries in seven years one of those things please and you'll know of what I speak and also while you're at it read a wiki leak or two so you know where the bears had a bowel movement in the buckwheat boy I came close I want to make this family friendly let me do my ending again lounging with Lisa the video series that has me lounging while well, coming at you with thoughts of the day remember to drop your political identity join me join me join me and focusing on issues in order to make this world a better place ladies and gentlemen bye bye now